now we will study potential due to a different type of distribution and that distribution is dipole a minus and a plus negative and positive charge kept at a finite distance that makes a dipole and we have done that dipole is able to make an electric field if dipole is making an electric field then there will be potential in the every point in that electric field and now we will calculate electric field due, uh, potential due to dipole okay here is a dipole minus q plus q the distance between the two charges is 2l and p is equal to 2l we know p is equal to 2 ql is the dipole moment that is effectiveness of a dipole here and the direction of dipole moment is from minus to plus this direction this our case one refers to xl case there is a point on the axis of dipole so this we will we are studying v on xl line v on xl line let this point p be at a distance r how do we measure the distance of the point p from the center of the dipole and from the center of dipole this distance is r but we know the formula of calculating potential due to point charges this point charge plus is at a distance of r minus l r minus l and this is at a distance of r plus l r plus l now v due to plus q is equal to we know the formula 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught source charge divided by the distance r minus l v due to minus q 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught source charge divided by the distance from the charge this distance is r plus l now potential is a scalar quantity we don't have to bother for the distance and the total net potential will be net potential at p will be equal to sum of the two this potential is due to negative charge so this potential will be negative we can put minus sign here or we can put minus sign here then the sum of the two will give the total potential algebraic sum of the two add this two it will not be zero because this is r minus l this is r plus l but when you add up the two we get a common quantity 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and q comes out common so q comes out common and what we get inside is 1 upon r minus l minus 1 upon r plus l and this is equal to q upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this will be r square minus l square this is r plus l minus r minus l this minus into minus plus l so you see plus r minus r they cancel out and what we get is l plus l that is 2l so this become 2 q l upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this is r square minus l square minus l square okay so this is potential now 2 q l we know 2 q l is equal to dipole moment of this dipole this we can replace with dipole moment so potential at point p on xl line is p upon or first we will write constant of the medium then it is p upon r square minus l square this is our formula for potential now in case r is very large compared to l which is the general case r is always much larger than the l then we can always neglect reduction of l square then this formula will be p is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught p upon r square that's all this is potential on the xl line xl now you know the formula for electric field for 
electric field what was the formula at distance r due to dipole electric field was 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this was 2 q upon r uh, this is electric field by dipole was 2 p this was electric field r cube and potential is r square okay so here it was 2p and here it is 1. Remember this? Here it was r cube and here it is r square. So this is potential on the XL line. Now we will in the next lecture we will see what is the potential on the transversal or equatorial line of a dipole. Thank you.